Pam Bondi is a liar. She's a criminal because she screwed the people of Florida in order to protect Donald Trump, who she personally solicited a $25,000 campaign contribution. And she has the nerve to say that uh, she's pissed off at Clinton and that there's nothing there. They need to open up an investigation on her as to why uh, she dropped her investigation of Trump University in Florida while stating that uh, if any other state uh, did prosecute him and was uh, successful that uh, the people of Florida would benefit. Yeah, right. Three years ago, the Attorney General of New York filed a fraud lawsuit against Donald Trump for operating Trump University, the university that was not a real university. And in New York State, it is illegal to call anything that isn't actually a university a university. As we've reported on this program many times, the New York Attorney General found that many of the ways of doing business within Trump University, besides the name, constituted fraud. It was such a compelling case that the Florida Attorney General's spokesperson said she was considering joining the New York Attorney General's fraud case. Four days after Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi made that announcement through her spokesperson, she got a campaign contribution of $25,000 from Donald Trump. The Associated Press has reported that Attorney General Bondi said she personally solicited Donald Trump for that campaign contribution. Within weeks of receiving that $25,000, Attorney General Bondi decided not to join any case against Trump University. You said recently, quote, when you give, they do whatever the hell you want them to do. You better believe it. I will tell you that our system is broken. I give to many people. Before this, before two months ago, I was a businessman. I give to everybody. When they call, I give. And you know what? When I need something from them, two years later, three years later, I call them. They are there for me. So what, and that's yeah. a broken system. So uh, based on that statement, he hears that Florida is looking at uh, either filing their own or joining other states in their lawsuit against Trump University. He sends down $25,000 to the campaign, okay? And obviously, when he wants something done, uh, after he uh, contributes money, he gets it done. How many of you people out there believe that Trump wanted Florida to uh, stop uh, any type of proceedings against Trump University? So obviously he would want that done. And when he wants stuff done, after he gives money, he gets it done. Sure enough, a couple of weeks later, Pam Bondi announces uh, that they are not going forward with any type of investigation or in the joining with other states uh, in uh the lawsuit against Trump University. It looks like a straight line to me, but again, you know, everybody you know sees things the way that they want to see them. That was last year. Yesterday, Donald Trump tried to make you believe that the one person he never got anything from in exchange for a political contribution was Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi. Chris wishes beyond reproach. She's a fine person. Never spoke to her about it at all. What were you hoping to get out of that donation that you tackle on I've just known uh, Pam Bondi for years. Uh, I have a lot of respect for her. Uh, never spoke to her about that at all. And just have a lot of respect for her as a person. And she's done an amazing job as the Attorney General of Florida. The story looks bad enough for Donald Trump if it stops there. But it doesn't. 
The campaign contribution was illegal because it came from the Trump Foundation, a charity which is not allowed to make political contributions. The Trump Foundation's tax return did not list the illegal contribution. When the IRS discovered it, the IRS fined the Trump Foundation $2,500. The Trump campaign said today it was just a series of clerical errors that led to the illegal contribution by the foundation and the coincidental failure to include that contribution in the foundation's tax returns. I am uh, uh, quite taken aback by the foundation making a political contribution to the Florida Attorney General who is just about to investigate Trump University and then ending the investigation. And there's so many things that are questionable about that, and the IRS certainly thought so, and said it was illegal and, and fined uh, Trump uh, for uh, that uh, you know, set of uh, facts. The Florida Attorney General, now caught in the ugliest possible timing of a campaign contribution, is just outraged that anyone could have the slightest suspicion that she and Donald Trump might have been up to something will not be collateral damage in a presidential campaign, nor will I be a woman bullied by Hillary Clinton. This is about her trying to deflect everything she did as Secretary of State. Of course I ask Donald Trump for a contribution. That's not what this is about. That's exactly what this is about. You asked him for a campaign contribution. You got it. He asked you to uh, stop your investigation of Trump University in Florida, and you stopped it straight line she was saying he was under investigation by my office at the time and i knew about it none of which is true you did know about it you made the announcement prior to getting the campaign contribution so obviously you knew about it Joining us now is David K. Johnston, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and columnist with The Daily Beast. He has a new book out called The Making of Donald Trump. David, uh, I guess we now know why you want to keep Trump tax returns secret if you can. Here's the one we know about, and it's got a tax crime on it. Yes, uh, the IRS uh, operates under rules Congress set, though, that are very lenient here. And by the way, we don't actually know there was a $2,500 fine. We know that the Trump campaign has said that they paid the $2,500 statutory penalty. But in theory, actions like this should, sh could, and I would argue should, result in revocation of your charitable status because this was an elaborate uh, story they came up with, you know, claiming that the money really went to a group that teaches anti-abortion protesters in Kansas, and well, no, they wrote it to an outfit in California, neither of which have any past connection to Trump whatsoever, like, by the way, Pam Bondi, who Trump now wants you to think was his close good friend for a long time. And uh, it, the, there's so many outrages here, including the the notion that you can give $25,000 to a state attorney, to attorney general campaign. Uh, and Pam under investigation when you're under, and Pam Bondi uh, pretending that it's outrageous for us to wonder about this uh, camp, this contribution arriving after her office announced that they were looking at, at the Trump University well and afterwards she lied about this also she said they had one complaint from somebody in Florida who had been taken by this scam called Trump University it turns out that there were over 8,000 pages of documents in the state had from people saying hey I was swindled out of my entire life savings I'm going to lose my house because of these crooks at Trump University and it turns out the agents representing Donald Trump were a couple who were well known to state level securities law enforcement people all across America and who just shut down the office and disappeared Abandi's office told people well and his and her predecessor well you should just call and ask for a refund how do you call and ask for a refund when they've shut down the office and absconded with your money we've been on the trump university case for a year now and it's not ending anytime soon david k johnston thank you very much for joining us thank you they need to st uh, stay on pam bondi on this one because you know this stinks to high heaven